<coughs> Good evening folks and uh, we're back on the Mullard. Uh, this is the next video in the instalment and today uh, this evening I'm going before work I'm going to prepare where's my glasses I should really prepare to be prepared right I'm going to prepare the tag boards today I'm going to start making these up and <clears throat> I'm going to prepare the wire I've got some wire here I'm going to prepare this and uh, we get all all the tag board soldered up that we need to I'll do one first and then I'll do the other one and we'll uh, see about getting some holes drilled for them probably tomorrow or before I go to work if I've got time anyway uh, on with preparing the wires so it's first with the wire cutters Right, now on to, uh, on to fitting the wires that jump across the terminals, so... So simply, the easiest way I've ever found to do these is to... Just loop them through like so, and leave it. The reason why I've left that bit of insulation, oh, that bit of insulation. The reason why I've left that bit of insulation there is so that the wire doesn't pull back through when. I'm feeding it through and getting it nice and tight then you see and there we go now all I have to do is the next one I've made up two sets of these wires uh, the next one goes I mean, it might be a bit overkill this, I might have made these wires a bit long, but it doesn't matter. Feed that through, without pulling the little knob off the end, there we go. And I'm not happy with that. There we go. It doesn't matter which way you feed these through. <clears throat> Pull it tight, there we go. And I won't snip them off until I've soldered them. Right, that's two. That's two actually done. So we'll get on with. Right, now you've seen how I feed them through, I'll just do one more. Uh, and we want uh, 10. That one, 10. 11. 10, 11, 12. Thirty. so we want to put this one on here this fourth one I might run out of oops might run out of tag board you know folks but but I 
I know I'll order some more if I need it. I'm hoping I don't have to. Because it's going to be pretty tight. Space is at a premium on this amplifier. And I didn't order too little. I wasn't going to fed that through the wrong one. I would have noticed it before I soldered it. There we go. That's that one. Right, we've got three sets of wires in there now. They're the ones that cover three pins. Uh, all these three pins here, these three pins. No, I've done it right before, I've done it wrong then. So, these three are all tied together. Uh, these three are all tied together. That one there isn't. Uh, these three bottom ones here are all tied together. So, uh, let's get the other ones fed, fed, threaded through and then we can get on with the soldering process. Right, now it's time to see if I can clip this uh, into my helping hands. Thingy here, and there, how about that? Now, now we're securely held in place. And just give the iron a wipe. I'm using leaded solder for this. Uh, we're on leaded solder. So now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to solder all these wires in place. Now, I don't want to completely fill up the holes if I can help it, because there's other components going to go into them. Let's just really tack these on. Because I'm going to need to not fill the holes up. I don't want to fill them. Right. Pull that one through a bit. I know the observant amongst you might have noticed I'm actually using wire cutters to pull it through because I can't find my bloody side cutters. Right. There we go. Oh, no, 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 nearly missed one. There we go. Let's pull that one through. Now, let's have a look, make sure I've got them all, which I have, yeah, yeah, got them all, and I can see through all the holes, which is what we want, because there's other components to go in there, so we'll turn this upside down. To the other side. I won't show you make it. Oh, oh, when, I, when I make the other one up, I won't show you that because you've already seen me do this one. You don't need to see that. There we go. Uh -huh. 
Just like a little tack on them, that's all we need for now. Because once I solder them in proper, do the components will help and the solder will be built up by then anyway. Now see I'm trying not to you know it's horrible this country and it started raining again. Check I've got that one. Yeah. So now, now I've got all the wires soldered in. As you can see, all we do now is clip off. What we don't need. And then we're left with our nice joints. Just take off what we don't need. I'll tell you what. Them little bits there. All nice, so it looks good. Because they're all held in now, and they're not going to go anywhere. Hmm. And tomorrow, folks, uh, it's going to be uh, mounting the valve sockets for the EL84. Zer the EL84s because I've now got the sockets and I've got all the things I need and that's for tomorrow or maybe even before I go to work if I get around to it but what I'm, what, what I'm showing you here and I'm not keeping it to myself there you're not really seeing much of it me, me doing it I don't think so it's come a bit near the camera and all we're doing is just snipping off the bits that we don't need snipping off the bits of what excess wire really and there we go you see and there they are oh missed one <laughs> I mean to be, to be honest with you folks I'll be going over this Um quite a few times during the build process to make sure I've got everything right now I'm happy with that that's what that that's all the link wires put in for one tag board I have got the resistors to put in and uh, we'll look at sorting that out maybe in a bit so I've got these other tag boards behind here for other things to go to these other bits here, they are like a double tag board. They've got like a double tag on each one. So, if I had filled some of these in, and if I can't get another component through, it's not really a great issue, because I can use the other side here. So it's not really a problem. And in the worst case scenario, there's holes in the bottom as well. And this chassis is going to be... Uh, it's going to be off the floor. It's going to... This tag board isn't going to be touching the floor of the chassis so if, if I had to bring anything up and on, up and under I could do that as well I'm hoping not to do that because work like that is very sloppy and I like things to be nice so what we're going to do now I'm going to now install the resistors if I've got them so we'll just have a quick look through the box of resistors 
Right, now we've got the uh, right, we've got the four. Right, we've got the uh, sorry, we've got the ten k resistor here, soldered on here, nice and neat. I've put it on the back because I'm going to have wires going onto the front here, so I've put it on the back, the, on the back two back tabs, uh, and here we have a. Uh, 4K7, 4, sorry, 4.7K here, uh, another 4.7K here at this end, hang on, at this end here, and these are 4, uh, these are 48 ohms, these two here, and I've got the same resistors for the other, for the other channel, and I've actually matched these resistors, I've made sure that all the values that I'm using are pretty much accurate with each other so I get equal balance uh, I should get equal balance in the speakers when this is done because I'm trying to match everything I know the observant amongst you will point out that some of the resistors are not the right way up that doesn't matter uh, you know whether the yellow bands at the bottom top or the bottom I don't care all I care about is whether it's neat and it's tidy and at the end of the day the resulting amplifier works so now these resistors here have to be connected to valve pins <laughs> and uh, given that me preamp <laughs> valves are at the top near the main transformer and uh, my boards are going to be mounted in front yeah uh, I think some revision might be needed here folks because the chassis I'm using was never designed for uh, you for conversion into a pair of Mullard 510 <laughs> amplifiers it was never designed for the purpose but uh, I'm pretty sure what, what I'm going to do I'm going to as I mentioned as I previously mentioned I'm going to drill out the holes uh, in my plates, I've got my plates here, there's one of my plates uh, there's one of my plates, I'm gonna I'm gonna drill the holes in them for the EL84s and once I've drilled them and riveted them then I will know uh, I'll have a better idea then of how I'm gonna mount these circuit boards, how I'm gonna mount these tag boards but uh, for the moment, uh, that's one tag board built. I'm, I'm going to build the other one off camera because you've seen how I've done this and I didn't have to show you soldering a resistor. I mean, if you're watching this video, then you, you know how to solder a goddamn resistor. If you don't, you shouldn't be watching it. You should have already learned how to solder by the time you get to this point. Uh, but I need to drill the holes in the chassis for this and the other one and I need to work out how I'm going to take these resistors across I have got some original tag boards uh, single single tag boards from the original uh, from the original amplifier I've got these here look, look I missed the resistor there's a, there's a resistor soldered to that one but I've still got these and I drilled these out carefully uh, I got these out as carefully as I could so that in the event I have to I can reuse them I've got uh, I've got three or four of these, so we'll throw that in there. I've got one there, uh, and there's another one knocking about somewhere. All I have to do is count the rivet holes, and then have a look for the tag boards. They're on here somewhere, but uh, that's where we're at now, folks. And uh, uh, I'm going to end this video here, and we uh, we will reconvene. Um, want to have drilled, and milled, and sorted out the uh, got me got me stepper drills today. I've been waiting on these. Where are they? I don't want to go losing them, do I? Just as I've got them, I got these today um, in a nice little case. The case is probably the best part of the whole set. Uh, but uh, I got these, and these are my stepper drills, which I'm going to use to. Uh, drill the, to drill the plates after uh, I have 
obviously uh, that one don't fit in there and you know something else I mean they all fit in it just doesn't the case isn't just quite deep enough but it does shut with no problem so that's actually quite a nice little case that and you get all you get all different sizes look at that you get uh, uh, yeah yeah one one uh, I think it's a quarter yeah a quarter a quarter, a quarter all the way down to uh, three quarter three sixteenths so that's not bad if I've said that right I'm not good at uh, stuff like that I just have a look at the all have a look through the drill bits I don't worry about sizes and I just have a look and if I've got it if I've got it, if I've got the right one that I use it if I don't then I buy the right one but uh, let's put them put them drill bits there uh, that'll probably get done to turn the meter off to turn the iron off because I'm not doing any more soldering tonight uh, I don't think so but like I say, well, well, actually, I'll make the other board up, but I'll make it up after me tea, and I don't need the iron on yet. But like I say, we've got that one there. I'm supposed to, but really, I'm supposed to use two of these. But I'm going to try and get away with using one. If I have to buy another, buy a bit more, then I will do. But I want to try and just use the space inside the amplifier. If you've watched other videos, you'll see space inside the amplifier is cramped. It's at a premium. I don't have the space. To put two to put two two of these in uh, with ten strips on with with ten tags on I don't just don't have the space so I'm trying to use what available resources I've got and I better sort scraps out he's crying for his tea you can probably hear him all right son right and uh, I'll keep you updated folks and thank you very much for watching and more to come later as they say bye for now.